Good morning and welcome to my kitchen again. Now I want you to uh, pull you up a chair, especially if you're a chocolate lover, and watch how easy it is to make a chocolate dessert. This is called chocolate cobbler. I had never heard of it before, but let me tell you, I made it and my husband ate about a fourth of it last night. I wanted to try it and be sure it was good before I, I shared it with y'all. So let me read what goes in it and um, then I'll try to get the camera where you can see what I'm doing. In this bowl, first of all, you melt two sticks of butter in your pan and then you mix one and a fourth cups of sugar, one and a half cups of self-rising flour, a, and um, a teaspoon of vanilla, and three-fourths of a cup of milk. Now I put my flour and my sugar in my container, and then I measured my milk and added my vanilla to it. Then I mixed it up together. Then in a separate uh, dish, you're going to measure out a cup of sugar and six tablespoons of cocoa, and you're going to blend that real good. And you're going to have two cups of boiling water waiting on you. Okay. This is the easiest thing in the world. I just could not believe how easy it is. Let's see if I can get this up close. Okay, I've melted my butter in this pan right here. There's the melted butter. And you're just gonna take your dough that you've mixed up. Stir it one last time. And I just Put it down the middle, kinda. Oh, let me tell you, every time you add something, you do not stir it at all. Like we would think we needed to blend it, you do not blend it, and it's just awesome. Get all of it out of there. Now what I did do, I scooted it around where I would have some of this all over the bottom, but I did not stir it. Okay, now, after you put that in, you're going to sprinkle your cocoa and sugar mixture. Get that cleaned up a little bit. You're just going to sprinkle this cocoa and sugar over the top of that and no, stir it. This is so easy and wonderful. Okay, now I have two cups of water back here in my electric kettle. This little kettle is wonderful. Okay, and then you're just going to pour your boiling water over it. Don't stir it when you add your cocoa on the top. Yeah, when I made this, I thought there's no way, but if it is, if it does work, it's going to be wonderful. Well, guess what? It does work. Okay, I'm going to put it into a 350 degree oven for just about 35 minutes. And there's the pudding waiting to go in the oven. Well, the cobbler. Okay, I'll bring y'all back when I get it out of the oven and show you what it looks like. It's, it's amazing. All it needs is a big old dollop. Well, in Texas, we eat bluebell ice cream, and that's what it needs is some homemade vanilla on the top of it while it's warm. But anyway, I'll be back in just a little bit and show you how it looks, and I'll cut a piece and let you see how much I enjoy my bite. Be back in just a little bit. Okay, I just took the cobbler out of the oven and it cooked 35 minutes and it's steaming and bubbling and sizzling and when it cools down just a little bit, I'll come back and dish some up and let y'all see what it looks like. But I'm going to tell you, this chocolate 
turns into like a custard. It, it, it's absolutely wonderful and so quick and easy. So I'll be back in just a minute and show y'all uh, when I take a portion of it out. Okay, I'm back. I was going to show you where I cut the, that's still a little bit warm, where I cut a piece of the cobbler out. See all the good chocolate that's in it? Now I'm going to move this where I can show you uh, the piece that I took out. And I didn't have ice cream, so I put just a little bit of uh, powdered sugar on the top. But let me just tell you, this is absolutely delicious. And I hope you try it and comment and let me know how you like it. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this recipe. It's really good. And um, stay tuned. Uh, please hit the bell where you'll be notified when I make another video. And tell your friends about it. Help my channel to grow. And I will be back shortly with another good family recipe. You know, I've been cooking for my little family for 49 years. So I have a lot of good recipes and um, I, I really want to share them with you. I want the generation coming up to know how to cook like, the, like their elders did. There's something besides fast food. And it's fun to get in the kitchen and make your own meal and... Um, that's what I'm trying to do, is share some of the things I've learned through the years from people who'd been doing it for years themselves. Y'all come back and um, we'll have another good recipe coming up. Have a good, blessed day.